what's up guys welcome to young family in our youtube channel today is november 12 2021 in today's video i'm going to show you how to propagate michelle album using air layering technique stay tuned this is the tree i'm going to talk about today so basically i cannot find any orangelo plant tag on this tree but based on my friend's explanation and some articles on the website, I would rather call this tree Michelia alba. Michelia alba is a hybrid. It has many different names. It's kind of very confusing. It has another name called Pak Lan. Its pronunciation very similar to Chinese name Bai Lan. Michelia alba is evergreen tree with intensive, fragrant, creamy white flowers and the lime green glossy foliage. Michelin alba is an original native to Southeast Asia and the subtropical and tropical area in East Area. My friend immigrated from Southeast part of China. This tree is very common and popular in her hometown. My friend family really liked this tree. Several years ago, they bought a Michelin alba in the container and then they transplanted it in her front yard just next to this curved side. But unfortunately, that tree grows very, very fast. And some people remind her, hey, that tree is very close to the underground water pipeline. So she cut off that tree. So right now, you still can see this stump right here. Just two years ago, she bought this tree and planted it in her front yard just next to the curved side, but a little bit far away from underground water pipeline. So right now you can see this tree is really, really tall. I think this tree right now is about 15 feet to 20 feet tall. Actually, at the beginning, two years ago, he, she told me that tree in the container just probably two feet tall. So right now you can see it's really, really tall. It grows really, really fast. Actually, you know, this tree grows best in full sun and the partial shade. So right now, you can see this tree totally exposed to the full sun. It's a beautiful tree. My friend once mentioned me, compared with some other plant in the containers, Michelia album in the container, it is pretty expensive. I once searched online, I found the price really, really pricey. Usually about 80 to $100 for one to three feet tall plant in the container. So actually, it is pretty expensive. Usually, Michelia alba will bloom from middle spring to fall. We live in Southern California with a very mild climate. So most of the time of the year, this tree will bloom. I just checked this tree. You still can find some flowers right now. You see right here? There's one flower. It's blooming right now. It's fully opened. Here there is one flower bud. Let me check, show you. I think uh, right here, you see here, one flower bud. And uh, there is uh, another flowers and a flower buds right here. Check out right here, you see? It's beautiful, flowers and flower buds. My friend once air layered some branches on this tree, but unfortunately, kind of not successful. That's why she asked me, hey, can you come here and air layer some branches? So on July 2nd, 2021, I air layered four branches on this tree. So let's go and check out. This is one branch my friend air layered on this branch. She told me she used spherical moss air layered this branch. But unfortunately, kind of, we still cannot find any roots in this root ball. So we're not sure whether we have some roots inside. So let's check out some other branches I air layered. Move right here. So this is one branch I air layered. Let me check the, uh, the label uh, on this side. Oh yeah, on this side. Okay. So as I mentioned before, on July 2nd, I earlier this branch, I used Clone X and Homodin 3 as rooting hormone. 
The inside I use cocoa mix, but outside I just wrapped with uh, speckled moss. So let's check out this side. You can see some roots right here. Very big, fat roots. It's beautiful. You see here, the roots, the roots, roots right here. And then you can still see some on the top of this root ball. I can feel right here. It's big root right here. So it is pretty successful. Actually, uh, my friend was worried about it. She told me, hey, the leaves are a little bit yellow. Actually, it's true, it's a little bit yellow. I think the branch feel a little bit of stress. So one thing I want to mention, on July 2nd, 2021, I added the branches. Totally, I added four branches. I have three other branches. I'm, I'm going to talk, show you later. So I checked one month later, and two months later, I still cannot find roots. Just a see through the root ball. I cannot find anything until three months after I air layered all these branches. It's about uh, early in October. I can see some roots. At that time, I just want to wait a little bit longer to make sure all the roots develop more roots. Develop, they can develop more roots and the roots more, more stronger. So right now you can see this one is pretty good. So let's check out uh, another one just above this branch. See here. I use Clone X and Homodin 3 as routine media. It's the same as the first one. But this one, I only use Spherical Moss as a routine media. So you can see here, the roots right here, right? These roots, the roots, big fat roots. So it's beautiful. The branch. I think all these branches about, I think about at least two or three feet long. So it's pretty successful. Let's check out another branch. It's right here. So check the label first. So this one I use, I think I use Colon X plus just a regular rooting powder together. And here I use pit mouse as a rooting media. You still can find the root right here. This is root. This is a long root right here. And uh, let's check. Oh, check out right here. You can see. Uh, focus. Root right here and right here. And uh, maybe on the top. I'm not sure. Uh, hold on one second. And the top, maybe, maybe not. So most of the roots is right here. Focus, sorry about it. So right here and right here and right here on the top. It's right here. You see the long roots right here. So it's pretty successful. Successful. Actually, uh, I just measured this the length of this branch. This branch is a little bit longer, about this, from right here all the way to the tip of this branch. It's about three to four feet tall. And let's check out the last branch. It's right here. So let's move to this side. Okay, so this one, I think uh, I use Clone X and uh, regular pouting powder. It's the same as uh, the third one. And I use uh, spherical moss as a uh, rooting media. But unfortunately, I checked this root ball. I cannot find any roots inside. It's kind of no roots. So I don't know for some reason. I think they cut the tip because it's too long. Probably blocked the car parking right here. So anyway. This one, I cannot get roots. But totally, of four branches, I got three branches. Three branches, I got roots. And pretty decent roots. So I'm going to keep this one and this one for my friends. She said she really liked this tree. And some of her friends really want to get some plant from this tree. So I'm going to leave this one for my friends. I'm going to cut 
of this branch. Actually, this branch is a little bit of challenge, just as I mentioned, right here. These roots, roots right here, and the roots right here on the top here. So this is not the best branch which develop roots. I think that the, this one might be better. Cocoa mix, you can see here. If you check out the roots, kind of like more roots right here. But anyway, I'm going to challenge this branch. I'm going to cut off this one and the transplant into containers. So guys, check out right here. I put the rooted branch on the ground. It's about three to four feet long. And I already removed the plastic bag. You can see the roots. The big fat roots. And check some other side. It's right here. It's beautiful. So actually, as I mentioned, uh, I think it inside is pit moss outside I just wrapped with uh, spherical moss because pit moss is kind of like a powder very easy to lose so anyway I'm going to put up in the container as I mentioned before Michelin apple grow very fast so before I like to use this big container it's about 10 gallon size but later I changed my mind I just use this around the five or seven gallon size container. So I already put some like a small stone at the bottom to improve the water drainage. Michelin album can grow very well in the container. Michelin album prefer rich, well drained, slight acidic soil. So I'd like to use this soil. So this is for palm, cactus and citrus, this soil is very good for water drainage you see a lot of polite inside so i like to use mainly use this potty mix and also i mixed with some this potty mix miracle grow potty mix is moisture control which contain cocoa so let me show you you see this one does not contain any perlite very fine the potty mix so and also I'd like to add a little bit chicken maloo to enrich the soil on the top I'd like to put some like a garden soil because you can check out this potty mix a lot of chopped wood so I would like to put some on the top of the potty mix so it can keep inside the root system cool and moisture so already mixed the potting mix right here already prepared so let's go and transplant this amazing plant